will keep that one from a side down. Yo, right, ladies and gents, I'm back down at Destination Tribe. Yesterday was a open day down here and uh, they allowed me to book myself a test ride. Now, I wasn't into any of the new bikes that they've got here, but I am quite interested in the 765. I've not ridden one before um, and I think it's uh, quite a beastie. Now they've lent me this one here which is the R and it's the low version. I'm a little bit stumpy so um, I'll be very interested to see how this feels to see if it actually feels like it's not quite right due to the ride height but I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. It comes fitted with the arrow exhaust pipe rather than a standard one so it doesn't give me a good sound comparison to what a brand new out the box bike would look like or sound like and it's got different bar end mirrors and stuff like that. Now it's only about four degrees at the moment and uh, although it's a beautiful day I haven't ridden a sports bike for quite a while so I want to make sure everything stays absolutely hunky-dory for me so I'm not going to be messing around with any of the driving modes or anything like that I just want to ride this and see what it feels like it's quite comfortable and I can actually where I'm standing here pretty much flat foot this which is such a confidence inspiring thing so um, I've got real high hopes for this now it's obviously a different riding position to what I get with my KTM and I think my camera is going to be pointing a little bit too far down on the road on this so I do apologise if you end up looking down at the dashboard on this for the whole of the ride but I will try and keep my head up and we'll see what we come up with anyhow let's see what this thing's like Now this has got ride-by-wire throttle control on it, just like my KTM has. I imagine it's a little bit more sophisticated than that on my KTM, as that is a bit of a budget bike. I'm so not used to how this bike handles, how it picks up off the clutch or anything like that. So, going to be taking it quite steady to start with, until I get my head around how it's riding, the conditions of the roads and stuff like that. This isn't supposed to be a review for you, this is purely a review for me. I'm looking at replacing my Ducati Sport Classic at some point, and this is on the shortlist. Now, my mirrors are all in the wrong places, <laughs> sod's law. Should have checked them before I left. But actually, if I'm ducked down and stuff, it might make sense for that one there. The, the lifesaver mirror on my left hand one is absolutely fine for the riding position. I really actually love this riding position. It's it's surprisingly light, I mean, it, it, it's far more forward than I get with my uh, Guzzi or the KTM. And when I say forward, I mean sporty, with the, my wrists are lower, but it's still very natural. The seat's incredibly comfortable so far. Suspension seems pretty plush. Not ridiculously hard or anything like that. Um, he says going over a pothole and all your teeth falling out. <laughs> it's a... It's an odd day to do a test ride on a sporty bike because we just don't have the temperature in the tarmac and that means getting the temperature in the tyres is also going to be a bit harder. The exhaust pipe sounds quite nice at this sort of rev range, just a little burble underneath me, not as obtrusive as either of my bikes. As you can probably tell, I probably you can't even hear it, I don't know, because compared to my Guzzi and compared to my KTM this is as quiet as a mouse. But it's got far more character to it than that Honda had that I tried out the other day. That you couldn't hear at all. I'm, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm really bloody impressed with this riding position. It's, it's lovely. It, it actually really feels like it fits me. And the fact that I can flat foot this bloody bike. I keep going on about how short I am. I'm not really that short. Well, compared to other short people. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not that short. I am short, but I'm not that short. This has got self-cancelling indicators, by the way. Which bewilder me as an idea. Uh, but I guess it's something that's handy. I assume it worked because they're now no longer on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not that sure. I'm about 5'6". Uh, but my inside leg, I'm guessing, is short. And that's what counts on a motorbike. My knees feel quite crunched up in the sort of sporty-ish riding position 
but they're not uncomfortable and I think that's partly because I'm used to the Guzzi which because it's such a short bike um, from foot pegs to uh, seat my legs are quite squashed on that as well so 30 mile an hour stuff this is quite nice And, oh my word, I haven't ridden a bike that gets you that fast, that quickly, for quite a while. Now, I'd love to give this some full-on beans. And I might give it a little leg stretch on the way back. But right now, I just want to get a feel for the bike, see what it's like. I don't want to become the rider I used to be where it was all about going fast and stupid all the time. <laughs> Man, this thing is rapid! <laughs> I, I have to re redial my brain. It, it, it's, it, I'm not used to being able to do this sort of pace so quickly. And uh, that is very satisfying. Very satisfying indeed. But like I was saying, I, I, I don't want to become this person that just Mac 10 all the time. I don't want to be someone that's going to be wrapping himself around a tree or getting a knock on the door from a policeman every five minutes. I used to be a bit of a dick. And I've learnt since then that there's a time and a place for all that. And on the road, being a dick isn't really the place. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm no saint. I've more than happy to break the speed limit on the odd occasion but do it responsibly if that makes sense if that's not a contradiction man this bike is friggin lovely <laughs> oh dear god do i need to test ride anything else well, all i've done is gone like 10 minutes down the road at the speed limit <laughs> man this thing is absolutely gorgeous it's really quite nice um, having, I've got like 12,000 RPM on this thing here but because of the way it's geared it's geared to do, I don't know, 160 mile an hour or something, I don't know, 140 uh, I, I've no idea, no idea top speed doesn't really massively interest me what it means is that at all the speed limits you're going at you potentially, if you choose to be in higher gear doing it quite relaxed with no drama going on with all Belmoths bellowing out the exhaust pipes you're just you're riding. Um, I think actually that little bikini fairing it's got is doing a job as well. I rode down to Destination Triumph on my Moto Guzzi and uh, okay yeah I was going at motorway speeds or dual carriageway speeds sort of thing on the way down but that doesn't have a fairing <laughs> and my chest was a bit chilly and what have I got? I've got a t-shirt on, I've got my thermals on, I've got my undersuit, I've got a long sleeve t-shirt, I've got a short sleeve t-shirt over the top of that and then I've got my leather jacket so I've got a lot of layers on my top half and on the way down there I was a bit chilly whereas I'm not really now but then I'm not going hell for leather I'm doing half the speed at the moment so there's no wind blast on me this is the River Arran here and it looks glorious today it really does what a splendiferous day I've had many, many fast bikes and I've driven many, many fast bikes very fast indeed but I haven't had one for a while and you get school fate it might be just like riding a bike but it's like riding a really fast bike really fast compared to riding a slow bike really slow <laughs> Man, that exhaust sounds glorious. I think the arrow is a must. <laughs> so, I guess you can kind of tell that I quite like this. So what else is there similar to this? And when I say similar to this, I mean similar to this with its lowered seat height. I don't think there's much out there, you know. I don't think there's much out there at all. word flat foot oh, I love it <laughs> I've just not been able to do flat footing 
on a proper motorbike for so long. It's so nice to be able to do it. Ugh. Numbers! <laughs> oh my word! Oh. <laughs> I can imagine that is incredibly addictive, especially with the triple burble, it's just... What a sexy bloody thing this is. I'm not using any brake doing here, it's all on engine braking. And this is a hill that when you're following a car down, all you do is you see brake lights coming from them because they come down in the wrong gears and stuff like that. So it's really nice to know that this has got, okay, it's not going to have the same sort of braking from the engine as my motor Guzzi has. But it's not shabby. And my feet are on the ground again. It's amazing. This is a game changer. It's a real bloody game changer. And they do this as a factory option, done properly. Yeah, let's just let all them skadoodle. Gear change on this is lovely. It's got a proper clutch, that's why. How original. Who would have thanked it that putting a decent clutch on something is a good idea. Alright, let's go say hello to some corners. But certainly clutchless changes are absolutely no problem going up. Oof. That didn't feel right. That felt very bottomy outy. It's got some sunlight on the bike. Where's that neutral light? There we go. And ugh, one of them is it. But it's reachable. That's good. That's good to know. Okay. Awesome. It comes with a um, nice paper clip there. They're quite important. So let's have a little walk around the. So I mentioned about the exhaust pipe, that's the aftermarket arrow which Triumph provides as an option. Um, tyre's still covered in crap because I've been leaning it like a pussy. But that's kind of what happens with bikes that you don't know in winter. Um, you don't push them because thousand pound excess is stupid. I went over a bump on the way in there and it felt like I grounded out the suspension. Um, but like if you look down here, you can see that I haven't because that would have been scraped off. Um, had I had I actually grounded it out, uh, but it did make quite a clunk, um, so it makes me wonder if the suspension is a bit soft. Comes with ABS, traction control, all that sort of shenaz. Um, looks like quite a big sprocket on the rear. I think the suspension is fully adjustable on it. It's not as plush as the suspension on the um, RS, but then it's uh, I think a thousand pound cheaper. So. Uh, yeah, but even if you are doing the uh, track days and stuff which I plan on doing on whatever bike I get um, I've proved that you don't need the best suspension in the world to do quite reasonably well for pace on a track day um, with my Guzzi when I took that round with standard suspension this has also got the tail tidy on it as well uh, which tidies up the back end a little bit and uh, looking at the rear number plate that's not covered in crap which is good and the back end of the bike there isn't too much covered in crap either so unless it's been cleaned um, since it was last out in grubbiness but looking at the stain I don't think it has been um, so yes that tail tidy seems to do a better job than those on um, both my uh, KTM and uh, the, the lack of my guard that I have on the, on the Guzzi I really don't like the headlights on this. I much prefer the old ones. Um, the chrome uh, twin bait style headlights. Um, it would be awesome if they gave that as an option where you could take these off and have something that gives you modern illumination like these ones are probably going to be doing. 
but uh, have the classic styling but I guess Triumph don't want you doing that because they don't want that look it's also got engine covers on this as well which are another option um, so this is quite a tricked up one compared to standard and I'm guessing that that would put this quite close on the uh, the boundaries of, of the, the RS in comparison if not above it I, I don't know how much everything costs but yeah it's a good looking bike even with the day mode and the headlights it handles lovely and I can touch the ground I can actually bloody flat foot this thing and I've not been able to flat foot a motorcycle <sighs> yeah I, I really don't remember being able to flat foot a factory motorcycle except for like the, the big customs and stuff like that <laughs> Something I did notice while riding was that the brake lever seems incredibly close. Um, it's hitting my knuckles with me pulling it in there like that. Uh, so I might actually think about pulling that out a little bit, even though I've got stumpy figures, fingers. Um, I'd much rather know that I wasn't going to trap my fingers behind it if I was uh, to brake in a hurry. All right, let's continue. just so surreal being able to reach the fucking floor how odd is it that that is something that I'm most impressed by I know it's the lowered version but I can pull them in flat foot awesome stuff I'll tell you what if you do come up with any suggestions I don't know if you're going to be able to come up with something that would appeal more than this Holy smokes, my brain isn't dialed in for that much. Go! Oof. It's not that you can't hold on, it's just, it's, oh. I mean I did free falling, I, I fucking jumped out of an aeroplane and that was a rush. I mean like, it, this isn't that kind of a rush, but oh my word, it feels just alive. <laughs> I think you might be able to tell I'm a little bit impressed. <laughs> we'll cut through Arundel. Just because it's pretty. Oh, I don't like the feel of that button. What is it with me and indicators? I just don't like any of them, do I? I think it's because, oh my goosey, I don't use them. Even the ones I fitted for the MOT, I don't use them because they're a bit shit. <laughs> no one can see them anyway. <laughs> The cathedral's majestic, isn't it? It's a shame it's got the pub right in front of it because I'd love to have a clear shot of that. Fantastic. Castle church there and stuff. There's loads of just awesomes. I mean, that is just beautiful, isn't it? Fantastic, impressive gates there. Big turreted walls. Man, this thing stops when you shut the throttle. <laughs> oh, I can smell fish and chips. Now normally, if I was on my own little bimble type situation, I'd be turning left here, heading to the Black Rabbit and grabbing myself some food. But, I'm not. There's the River Aaron again. I'm on borrowed time with this bike, if you want to make sure I enjoy it. What I'll do when I get there, might be off camera, but what I'll do when I get there is I'll, uh, I'll see if they'll let me sit on a full height one of these on flat ground, just so I can have a, a direct comparison to how it feels Um, the confidence sort of paddling the bike around when you're sitting on it and stuff. Oh, look at this traffic, my favourite. This is such a lovely riding position. I'm only um, 25 mile an hour. 
and it's not uncomfortable on the wrists. I mean, I imagine when you're going hell for leather, you're going to want an angled up camera because <laughs> you're going to want me down like that. Mm, I don't know what else there is. I don't know what other motorbikes are an option. I can't turn my head far enough for you to see the view of the castle, but it's fucking stunning. It's a real shame, can't do any drone stuff around here because I'd love to uh, get that in the air and get you some absolutely wonderful footage of this most awesome locations. All right. Time for some boring road work. Also an interesting experiment to see what this would be like when I want to go further afield. I'm in fifth gear at the moment. Just put it in top gear. And we're at 6,000 RPM at 70. Yeah. It's only 1,000 RPM lower than my KTM is. But my KTM doesn't do this. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, I'm pootling along at 70 mile an hour, absolutely fine. The wind blast isn't really an issue. It is a windy day today. I don't know if it really shows it. The trees don't seem to be moving around very much. Um, but I noticed some of the sides of trucks where they've got the soft side panels, they're blustering around quite a lot. And uh, I'm sort of feeling blown around a little bit, but no more than I was on my guzzy. Maybe I'm so low to the ground on this thing, the wind can't even touch me. I think this would possibly be an earplug bike if I was going any distance, certainly with this crash helmet. Not because the bike is particularly noisy, but the wind is. I'm kind of guessing that the riding position on the full height version of this is exactly the same. Its only difference will be it will probably steer a little bit quicker and but I won't be able to flat foot. <laughs> so if it's clear, this is a really nice road, but it's so rarely clear. Yeah, up ahead is just traffic. So I'm just gonna get in front of this so I've got something less pretty. So get in front of this so I've got something more pretty to look at, i.e. Well, not a car. And we'll just uh, relax our way through these twiddles. We will probably catch up with the cars, just because they're all slow coaches. This is right through the middle of the South Downs. Absolutely pucker. I'm noticing a little bit of snatchiness on the throttle there. Um, so I'm in third gear. I could have possibly been in a higher gear, it might have helped. Uh, for just cruising around that corner, but then I'd have been lower revs. I always prefer to have a bit more revs going on than less. Yeah, from shut throttle to open, there's just a little bit of meh. Let's see if we can emulate it. It's just a bit jerky on that. Now I don't know whether that's just slack in the chain or whether that's uh, the fly-by-wire but it feels a bit weird certainly not end of the world type stuff I think that's the only flaw I've found so far in the bike oh, Nice! <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> I do love a good engine noise Give it a leg stretch. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> and let's get sensible again, Billy. <sighs> Dear oh dearie me. I'm bloody impressed, you know. I'm bloody impressed. 2CV. 
the rear brake works on this better than the KTM one, although it does feel like I'm bending the lever. <laughs> Feet down, it's amazing. Hello, hello, how are you? Did you want to be in front of me? How's that working out for you? And we're back. Wowzers. I like it. Okay, well, it's giving their keys back before I don't want to. Well, thank you, Destination Triumph, for letting me have a little demo on your motorcycle. And, uh, oops, a daisy. I'm putting a deposit down on one. <laughs> oh, God, I'm such a retard. Now it's going to be a while before they can get me one. Oh dear, what's going on with this thing? It's going to be a while before they can get me one. Because obviously the low chassis version is less in demand. So that gives me some time to sort some money out. Now, ideally, I'll get the Ducati sold in plenty of time. And... Uh, be able to use that to fund it otherwise I'll just get a big old loan <laughs> oh my word what a knob absolutely pleasure dealing with those guys down there they don't feel like bullshitters they get with a lot of salespeople they just seem to be passionate and enjoy motorcycles, motorcycling and the bikes that come with it so I'm more than happy to have them supply me with a motorcycle and nice and convenient too but just down the road from me okay it's a bit of a boring road but still half an hour bimble so I can get the bike serviced Oh dear, oh dear, riding this compared to that street triple. <laughs> oh my word. I mean, if I was to open the throttle now on this, it makes a bit more noise and kind of thinks about going a bit faster. Whereas on that triple, you open the throttle in top gear at 60 or 70 mile an hour and it'll just go. So I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to buy it. <laughs> it just kind of happened. So thank you for joining me on this rather silly, unthought out impulse type mission of stupid ideas and silliness and fun. So if you like seeing people make stupid decisions that are going to cost them 10 grand and you uh, enjoy listening to an idiot waffle on about things he probably knows nothing about click that subscribe button and that way every time I post something new you'll be able to laugh at how much of a tod I can be <laughs> so yeah if you're new to my channel click that subscribe button if you like this video like the bike like this bike like any bike give my video a thumbs up let me know that you liked it tell me in the comments what it was that you thought of my decision to buy a Triumph if you didn't like this video or you don't like Triumphs or you don't like motorbikes click that little thumbs down button it's all good but please, please, put in a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. What it was that you think was a silly choice. 
to make. And in the meantime, you take care, you ride safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep the bar. Rock sound. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber sound. Down.